Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the second super important uh, numerical of the module 2 which is regarding the candidate elimination algorithm. So what we have to basically do is just apply this algorithm to find out two things which is specific and the general hypothesis and this is for 10 marks. Okay, so make sure you watch till the end. It's a bit uh, lengthier algorithm but I'll be telling you uh, simple uh, steps you need to follow so that uh, whichever the question is asked under this uh, topic so you can easily uh, attempt that. Okay, so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started so initially we'll be given uh, these conditions the first thing what you have to uh, write here is s naught okay s naught means specific hypothesis there will be filling it with all null values okay so you'll be writing uh, null or zeros here so how many uh, columns are there one two three four five six six columns are there and this is the target attribute okay either, either it can be yes or no so uh, we'll be filling each with null values and here we'll be filling with question marks which is general values okay now our first step is what we have to do we have to consider the general value okay the first step uh, we have to consider the general value now question mark can fit any of the examples so question mark and uh, sunny will be comparing each example okay question mark with sunny it will match okay so it will be yes so question mark with warm it will match question mark with normal question mark with strong question mark with warm question mark with same all of these things match so it should be a positive instance so here also we have yes that means a positive instance we don't have any issue with this one so uh, we will be uh, taking it as <coughs> positive one okay means the next uh, hypothesis will also be the same one okay so that's why g1 will also become this one next what we have we have to consider this one okay specific hypothesis the uh, null value with sunny does not match okay null value with sunny does not match so just if one of them also does not match the whole instance becomes a negative one so if it is negative it is it should be no here but uh, in our case it is yes here so we need to make some changes what all changes we, we need to make is if it is uh, null here and we have sunny here we'll be uh, considering this value then here also we'll consider warm value normal strong warm same all these things we'll be doing so that's what we'll be writing as s1 these things okay this is s1 and this is g1 now our uh, next step is to consider this one okay the same steps we will apply we will apply question mark to each of these and we'll check if it's a positive instance so what we find is each question mark will be corresponding to this as yes so it's a positive instance and this is also yes so g2 will also be same in our case the same thing now uh, with this one with this one when we compare sunny and sunny it's fine when you compare warm and warm it's uh, fine normal and high here it is not same right if it is not same what we have to do is we have to replace it with question mark strong strong warm warm same same when we replace it with question mark the s2 will become as such okay that's all then uh, coming to the third example uh, we'll be having here a rainy and we'll be comparing with question mark so rainy and question mark it will match cold with question mark it will match high strong warm change all with question mark it matches so it should be classified as what positive example but here what we have as no which is nothing but negative example right when we get a mismatch like this what we are supposed to do is for each question mark we have to write one whole thing one whole hypothesis we have tried for each question mark so here totally uh, six hypotheses will be occurring like for one one question mark we'll be having one hypothesis one question mark another hypothesis another hypothesis and so on so what should be there in the hypothesis this question mark is here right and it is rainy here except rainy what all the attributes you can find here sunny that's all one of one attribute only you can find so we'll be writing uh, it as follows like sunny and all question marks okay one instance we are considering at a time if it had some like uh, moderate weather also like another uh, uh, attribute here as moderate weather like rainy sunny moderate weather we'll be writing here moderate weather question mark question mark question mark along with sunny question mark question mark question mark two of the things will come since here only one of them is uh, except rainy we'll be just writing sunny here like that will compare the second one except cold what all is there just warm is there so we'll be writing warm and here uh, except uh, high we have just normal so we'll be writing normal here we don't have anything strong is only there we don't have anything we'll not write anything we here except the warm we have the cool so we'll be writing cool here and then except the change we have uh, same here so we'll be writing same after i've written this much these are the general hypothesis we have got now we have to consider each of these hypotheses as consistent or not whenever we got new hypothesis first thing we have to check is they are consistent or not since uh, considering this example only we got some hypothesis we have to check each, each of them is consistent or not very simple what you have to do is we have, we have to start from the first sunny is here sunny we have to check till here okay till rainy we have to check so uh, we'll be starting from here sunny sunny 
and all question marks it will match yes positive instance another one sunny sunny and all question marks positive instance yes so this is what this is considered as uh, positive because it's classified as positive and for the third one rainy and sunny it is not matching it should be no and here also we have no it is matching so this one is selected next what we have this one we will be checking this one also so just warm we have to check warm warm is there and uh, all are positive the other question marks are there so it's all positive instance and both are yes so we will be considering this one as well but when we come to here here we have cold instead of warm so this is classified as negative example in this case and we have no also here so we'll be selecting this one as well see the thing is if it is a positive instance yes should be there if it is a negative instance uh, no should be there if these two rules are satisfied then it is a considered one okay similarly the third one normal we'll consider this one here normal is here and all question marks positive instance yes it is true again normal will be considering here it is high it is a different value so what should be our answer no because it is contradicting with here so no should be our answer but our answer is yes so normal is eliminated okay like that cool also here till uh, this point it is warm here right see cool is here here it is warm so it should be a contradiction it should be no but here we have yes so cool is also eliminated by the first example itself next we have uh, this one here same 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 yes same same yes so it's a positive instance both of the classes are yes and when it is change we have same here it is a contradiction it should be no we have no here so till this point normal and cool is eliminated rest all is same so what will be our uh, g4 see s3 will be uh, this one also so uh, let's consider uh, this one also sunny is here and rainy is here so it means a negative instance and this is positive and uh, a negative example because it's a contradiction here and also we have no here so this one will not make any difference and then so s3 will also be the same one now considering uh, g4 we'll, we just considered these two right sunny and warm okay what about same same will not come why because we had these three see cool and normal got eliminated so we are concerned with sunny warm and same for the fourth row we have to consider for sunny warm and same whether it is consistent or not take uh, taking the example of sunny 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 is here and all question marks are there so it's a positive instance here and this is also positive so we will consider this one coming to warm warm is here and warm is here rest all question marks so this positive instance and we have yes here done same is also there okay but all question marks are there and same is here but all question marks will match but here change is there change and same this will be negative instance right but here we have yes so we'll be get we got a contradiction we have to remove same so i just remove same and with just sunny and warm is remaining here like that only we'll be comparing this one and this one sunny warm sunny warm match question mark high whenever question mark and high will come it will be a match okay because whatever question mark uh, comes and then specific article means it is not considered strong warm same strong cool change see strong warm same is there but here cool change is there so cool and change and warm and same both will not match and it will become question mark that's all what you have to do you don't have to write it as a contradiction and all for specific just have to uh, replace it with question mark okay so this is what uh, the two uh, things you'll be getting at the end so that's all for this video any question comes you have to follow the same steps it's nothing much uh, harder and uh, make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one